This from Dog Pound Daily. Four wide receivers that stood out at the NFL Scouting Combine last week. Number four, Malik Washington from Virginia, 447, 40, 42 inch, uh, 42 and a half inch vertical. Jermaine Burton, 446, 40, 11 foot broad jump. Xavier Worthy set the record for the 40, 421 uh, was his 40 time. And then Tez Walker, 436, 40 time, 40 inch vertical leap um, again when when you look at those um, wide receivers who and we'll get I know you had three um, that you think the Browns could target we'll get to that in a minute who at the combine kind of grabbed your attention um, I, I know the the 40 time is something but who else other than worthy yeah that's hard because I think it really was him and it was he grabbed my attention in the sense that I am guessing he's not going to be available <laughs> anymore for where the Browns are picking. So that was honestly my biggest attention grabbing moment. I think I'm like a lot of people. I think I have a hard time attaching meaning to some of those testing times. I think very rarely does it matter in terms of where a guy is picked. Um, like we saw Donovan Peoples Jones a few years ago, at the 2020 combine was like the best receiver in just about every category didn't matter he was picked in the sixth round so I have a hard time assigning meaning to some of those numbers because I just don't think in recent history it's mattered but Worthy is a guy I think he was already being talked about a lot he was already pegged to go somewhere in like the 50s the 40s this is a pretty deep receiver class but I do think some numbers like that could help him and I think it's also the fact what is most impressive about him to me everyone knows he's fast that's been his thing his whole career but that speed translated to actual production, even when he was just a rookie at Texas. So I think that's huge. Like, of course, there have been plenty of guys come through. We had one here in Cleveland not too long ago, Anthony Schwartz, who have been fast, but that football part of it doesn't translate. But with Worthy, it's translated throughout his career. I think he could make an immediate impact with that speed on an NFL roster because of that history. Yeah, you know, that that's absolutely fair. So he, take a look, a, a couple of these tweets. So he set the 40-yard uh, dash record, 4-2-1. Uh, Record-breaking, um, he, he broke John Ross's record from 2017 by just a thousandth of a second. Top speed of 24.21 miles an hour, 10-yard split of 145. Now, cautionary tale, here are the fastest times in combine history. Um, Chris Johnson was pretty good, you know, fourth fastest as a running back. Woolock is um, a, a pretty good cornerback for the Seahawks. Marquise Goodwin um, has done some good things. But to your point, Worthy appears to be a football guy who can run fast as opposed to a track guy who's playing football. Yeah, I do think like that's what I always try when I get questions after the combine, like I just did to maybe temper expectations on the testing times a bit, because I think you can't get stuck in that. Right. And I don't think most teams do, but I think it becomes very much a talking point for fans and speculating and saying, oh, this guy tested really well, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we're seeing more and more guys just not test at all because I think people realize like, hey, there's not a ton of upside to doing this there's more of a risk of injury because it's so like unnatural if you think about how football players move and what they're actually doing out there it's not that like functional speed anyway like do you really need to see an offensive lineman run a 40 yard dash i don't know like maybe some people find value in it i don't personally see the value in it i think there are other ways to evaluate prospects um, that maybe go beyond game film that aren't quite these tests but hey it's become such a thing now I would just caution like looking at that list is a perfect example of how many guys on that list are like your top flight receivers you don't see any of those guys that make that list and a lot of those guys probably didn't even test or run at the combine in recent years